हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आवर फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज योर मैटर ओके सो इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट मैटर व्हाट इज मैटर व्हाट आर द टाइप्स ऑफ मैटर हाउ मैटर फॉर्म्स व्हाट आर द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक ऑफ मैटर व्हाट आर द बिहेवियर मैटर्स एक्सेट्रा विल डिस्कस ओके सो टुडे विल डिस्कस एवरीथिंग अबाउट मैटर सो दिस इज फॉर क्लास सिक्स आई एम रिक्वेस्टिंग ऑल द क्लास सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज गो थ्रू दिस वीडियो एंड गेन सम नॉलेज ओके अबाउट मैटर सो स्टूडेंट्स फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट वट इज मैटर ओके इन विच कंडीशन वी कैन से दिस इज अ मैटर सो स्टूडेंट्स नॉर्मली इन डे टू डे लाइफ थिंग्स अराउंड यू हैव वेरिंग सेप्स एंड साइजेस एंड हैव सम प्रॉपर्टीज वट एवर यू आर कमिंग अक्रॉस एवरीथिंग हैविंग सम सेप्स साइज एंड प्रॉपर्टीज बट दे ऑल टेक अप स्पेस एंड हैव सम मास ओके सो स्टूडेंट्स इफ वील आस्क और वील डिस्कस वट इज मैटर सो वी हैव टू राइट दैट द डेफिनेशन ऑफ मैटर इज एनी थिंग ओके एनी थिंग दैट हैज दैट has mass and occupy occupies space is called what students is called matter okay is called matter okay so anything that has mass and occupy space is called your matter so this is the definition of your matter okay suppose rocks okay so if i will take this one rock this is one is a rock so this one having some mass and it occupies some space okay so this is a matter if i will take a human being suppose i am taking example of you suppose this is you okay you class 6 fellow okay so this is this uh, this one class 6 fellow also having some mass and he, this fellow is also occupying occupying some space okay so that's why this one is also a matter okay so if i'll ask you give some example of matter okay example of matter okay so what are the example you will give students so you can write rocks wood gold you know what is gold iron ha huh? iron then sugar air ha na air water so this uh, sorry water so these are the example of your matter these are the some example of matter so uh, students you keep in your mind the definition of matter anything that has mass and occupies space is known as your matter okay and these are the some example of matter now we are going to what are the characteristic of matter okay characteristic characteristics of matter what are the characteristic of matter so students there are two main characteristic of matter so first one i am writing it has mass it has mass so all matters having some mass okay and second point is your it occupies occupies space okay so these are the two main characteristic of mass so what is the first characteristic it has mass and what is the second characteristic of matter it occupies some space okay so first we will discuss about this one it has some mass okay so this one matter we can write matter has what mass okay so can you students tell me the, what is the unit of mass in which unit we can measure mass already we, we have discussed student that is your kg in kg you can measure mass when we, whenever you are going to market you are asking for uh, 2 kg potatoes 2 kg sugar whatever you are asking so you are asking for mass okay so the uh, first we will come to know what is mass okay so for first i am going to write the definition of mass the matter okay or you can write the amount of matter the uh, amount of matter amount of matter amount of matter contains a uh, 
contained in an object in an object is called is called what students its mass okay its mass okay so the amount of matter contained in an object is called its mass if i'll ask you uh, draw a diagram then you can easily draw suppose this is a matter uh, suppose rock and this rock is made up of some tiny particles okay so amount of matter so these are the amount okay so all together they form a amount of matter all together so amount of matter contained in an object is called its mass okay so from this uh, mass you can find out a body is heavy or light that one you can find out and further you can say uh, from this heavy and light words you can say whether the body is weight or weightless okay so the heaviness of an object depend on its mass so i can write here students heaviness 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 of an object object depend upon what students it depends upon mass okay so heaviness it depends on its mass okay it depends on its mass understood student so this one is the another point of related to your matter has mass okay so if uh, i'll give some example students mass cannot be measured directly so through which you can measure so you have to use your balance uh, either you can use physical balance or you can use beam balance understood students and uh, weight is direct directly related to your mass that is your an object that has more mass is heavier than an object with less mass thus if you know the weight of an object you can calculate the mass you will learn about uh, measuring a weight in the next lesson uh, that is um, second chapter you will come to know about this one so now second we are going to second point second point is your what is second point matter occupies some space okay matter occupies occupies space whatever matter even you are also occupying some space wherever you are sitting you are occupying some space even air also occupying some space so we can see uh, a balloon suppose i am drawing a balloon this is a balloon okay uh, this is a balloon so this balloon when this balloon is air filled that time also it is occupying some space and without air fill also occupying some space but when this one is this balloon is air filled that time it is occupying some more space so that's why we can say air also occupying some space so we can write here students the space occupied occupied by matter the space occupied by matter is called its volume okay so you remember students whatever space how much space occupied by the matter is called its volume so all objects are having some volume even a air filled balloon or empty balloon also having some space okay so our next point is related to your composition of matter okay composition composition of matter this is your next point what are the composition of matter okay so students the basic unit of matter is the atom basic basic unit mm, sorry unit of matter is atom understood so this is the basic unit of any matter that is your atom and students it is so small and that cannot be seen under even a microscope also so what 
atom so atom is very small and they join together to form molecules if more than one atom join together then they will form molecules so, so basic unit of matter is atom next one is your they join together together to form what student to form molecules molecules understood students for example if i uh, say uh, two oxygen atom combine to form an oxygen molecules understood so two suppose this one is one oxygen one oxygen atom and this is another oxygen atom okay and these two when these two will combine then they will form one molecule of oxygen one molecule of oxygen so this one i am writing this one is atom one atom one atom okay uh, one atom this one is your another atom okay so this one i can represent with oxygen because this is oxygen atom so what is the symbol of oxygen oh this is another o okay so when this will combine they will form one oxygen molecule so this one we can write o2 so this one is your oxygen atom this one is also oxygen atom and when they combine they form one oxygen molecule so if i'll ask you what is molecule so students molecule is the smallest particle of matter that are capable of independent existence okay so what is molecules so molecules molecules is the smallest what is smallest particle particle of matter okay so what if i'll ask you what is the smallest particle of matter so you can say that is your molecules and basic unit of matter that is your atom understood student so molecules forms when more than one atom join together that time it forms understood ancient indian philosopher described matter as being made of a five elements okay so whatever matters are there according to the ancient indian philosopher they were saying that matters is made up of five elements so th what are those elements that is your pancha tattva they were saying pancha tattva and every matters those matters are no so according this is according to your home students according to your ancient indian philosopher matter is made up of but students matter is made up of five things okay so first uh, one is your earth matter is made up of earth then sky then air and then fire okay so these are the five things uh, one more things i think fire and water and water so these are the five things then next one is your so these are the uh, five things uh, on which a matter is being made up now next one is your according to maharshi kanada okay one maharshi was there maharshi kanada uh, indian philosopher according to him uh, he has said that the matter is made up of the tiny particles called anu okay that is your tiny particles tiny particles particles that is known as your what anu this one said by whom student this one said by maharshi kanada what he said he said that the matter is made of tiny particles okay and that tiny particle is known as anu which are in turn made up of even smaller paramanu okay and uh, a smaller unit uh, than your anu that one was your paramanu okay so this one said by your indian philosopher maharshi kanada after that students ancient greek philosopher demo Critus, one Greek uh, philosopher, he said matter is made up of individual individual particles. That individual particles that is your atom. Okay. So according to your 
another philosopher democritus he said that matter is made up of atomon so he said according to this one said by your greek philosopher that is your atom is made up of what students that is uh, your atom atomon okay so this one by greek philosopher after that over the years the concept of the atom was developed further okay and john dalton one one of the english chemist he showed that molecules are the smallest independent particles of matter so he said matter is made up of molecules molecules or he said that Uh, these molecules are the smallest independent particles of matter okay who said this is said by your john dalton and this one accepted by your all physics book okay dalton whatever said by your greek philosopher or indian philosopher these are the oldest things but new when uh, john dalton came he gave get this new theory that matter is made up of molecules or we can say molecules are the what students smallest independent particles of matter so i can write here molecules molecules are smallest smallest independent independent particles of matter particles of matter okay so this one said by who this one said by your john dalton after that we are going to what are the characteristic of molecules okay so now characteristic of molecule characteristics of molecules i hope you are clear about molecules so now we are going to find out the what are the characteristic of molecules so first characteristic of molecules are students they are very small in size and cannot be seen even under a microscope they are what they are very small in size very small in size small in size in size and even you cannot see under a microscope okay so and now we are going to second point second point is your the molecules in all forms of matter are not at rest okay so uh, molecules of matters okay are not at rest so some some molecules are at rest but, uh, rest, but uh, all molecules or we can say the molecules in all forms of matter are not at rest so molecules molecules in all forms of matter are not at rest are not at rest okay so or not at rest okay so whose molecules are not in rest we can take uh, example of water or any other liquid kerosene these are and gas also okay the next point we are going molecules of substance are held together by a strong force and that force is known as your you what molecular force okay so molecular force so molecules of a substance are held together by your so molecules molecules of matter are held together held together by which force intermolecular force or we can say molecular force so this one is your inter molecular force of attraction also you can write to help to gain the okay uh, intermolecular force of sorry attraction attraction understood so molecules of matter are held together by intermolecular force of attraction then next point i am going to write the space between molecules in an any substance is called intermolecular so the space 
स्पेस बिटवीन बिटवीन मॉलिक्यूल्स मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ अ सब्सटेंस ऑफ अ सब्सटेंस इज नोन एज इज नोन एज इंटर मॉलिकुलर स्पेस ओके इंटर मॉलिकुलर मॉलिकुलर स्पेस ओके सो दिस वन सपोज आई एम गोइंग टू ड्रॉ एनी ऑब्जेक्ट ओके और यू कैन से दिस वन इज अ मैटर एंड दिस इज मेड अप ऑफ सम मॉलिक्यूल्स स्मॉल मॉलिक्यूल्स ओके सो मॉलिक्यूल्स आर द स्मॉलेस्ट पार्टिकल ऑफ अ मैटर so space between this molecule okay is known as the space between this space this space okay this space between the molecules is known as your what intermolecular space okay this is your intermolecular space intermolecular molecular space okay and molecules are tightly attracted by a type of force that force is known as your intermolecular force of attraction intermolecular force of attraction attra if if intermolecular force of attraction is maximum then body is very heavy okay so they are the everything about the characteristic of molecules so first thing what was the first they are very small in size what molecules molecules in all form of matter are not at rest okay some are in motion some are in rest molecules of matter are held together by intermolecular force of attraction okay and the space between molecular substance is known as your intermolecular space okay now we are going to discuss about the arrangement of molecules in state of matter okay so students first we will discuss about state of matter state of matter what are the state of matter so i hope students you know what are the state uh, states of matter first there are three states of matter first one is your uh, solid solid then second one is your liquid liquid and third one is your gas okay one more uh, state of matter is there that is your plasma but it has not considered in your book so i am not going to discuss about that one so solid liquid and gas so these are the three different state of matter if i will ask you student give some example of solid then you can easily say sir rocks soil wood these are the example of solid liquid then in liquid you can say water kerosene petrol these are the example of liquid then gas students also you can say hydrogen helium oxygen these are the some example of gases okay so now we are going to discuss about so students these three are state of matter solid liquid and gas okay so this three state of matter students or this uh, three state of substance depend upon three factors okay so whether the substance will be solid whether it will be Uh, liquid or whether it will be gas that depends upon three factors okay so those factors are your intermolecular force of attraction inter intermolecular space and the movement of molecule okay so this solid liquid and gas this three things depends upon whether a substance will be solid or liquid or gas that uh, depends upon your intermolecular force first one is your intermolecular force okay intermolecular molecular force okay intermolecular force of attraction you can write attraction okay then next one is your student second one is your intermolecular space okay intermolecular space ha huh? and next one is your third one is your movement of molecules okay movement of molecules molecules okay so these are the three factors on which substance or matter depends 
okay so when we can say a substance is solid okay now first we will discuss about solid okay so in this solid students the intermolecular force of attraction is strongest okay so first thing is your intermolecular force is strongest intermolecular molecular force okay force is strongest strongest okay so suppose if i will draw a diagram of solid suppose this is a solid okay so in solid students the molecules are something like this okay arranged very tightly packed okay one more point we can add here students before drawing this one intermolecular intermolecular molecular space is very negligible is negligible negligible okay that means intermolecular space that means space between two molecules so this one is molecule and this one is another molecule that space between these two molecules is known and is your what students intermolecular space okay so intermolecular force is strongest so inter the force by which the one molecule attracted by another so this are molecules which are tightly packed because here students we know intermolecular space is negligible the space between two molecules is as negligible that's why molecules are tightly packed in which students in solid okay so this is a diagram of a solid so these are the molecules of solid you can see students here molecules are tightly packed this round round which i am doing these are your molecules okay and this entire body is a solid body and these are the molecules and you can see students molecules are tightly packed okay and molecular force is strong okay so tightly packed so can you tell me students whether they can move easily or not no students very difficult okay so the molecules do not move about or you can say the molecules do not move about but only vibrate in their fixed place okay they can vibrate when we we'll apply some heat that time it will vibrate okay so molecules do not move okay so the molecules molecules do not move do not move in which state students in solid okay if a substance in solid state or matter is solid state then molecules do not move okay so intermolecular force is negligible space is negligible intermolecular force of attraction is strongest okay in solid okay so this is everything about solid okay so if these things will be there then we can say that is a solid matter okay now next we are going to liquid okay liquid liquid okay suppose i am drawing a glass okay a glass and this glass is filled with some water okay water water is there okay understood so this liquid okay so in this liquid student the intermolecular force of attraction is not strong as it is in solid okay so the intermolecular the inter molecular molecular what first one okay the intermolecular force of attraction force of attraction attraction in liquid in liquid okay is not as strong sorry strong as it is in solid okay so intermolecular force of attraction is less than solid we can say also okay and inter so intermolecular force of attraction is less than solid so students we can say intermolecular space is more than solid okay so intermolecular molecular space okay space is more more than what students than solid okay 
more than solid so these are the some molecules okay i am drawing molecules okay so you can see molecules are not tightly packed okay these are there are some gaps are there you can see and intermolecular force of attraction is not so high like uh, solid that's why you can see some space are there okay and third one molecules can move okay so molecules slide over each other and move about randomly with the liquids okay so molecules molecules move about randomly okay randomly okay randomly that's why students uh, liquid can flow why liquid can flow because molecules move about randomly that's why liquid can flow okay now gas okay gas now i'm taking a container okay this container is filled with one gas suppose any gas hydrogen helium anything you can take okay or oxygen so this box is filled with your what gas okay any gas okay so the molecules of gas are something like this okay here and there okay not tightly packed okay so here we can write the gas okay intermolecular force of attraction is weakest okay so intermolecular molecule molecular okay force of attraction force of attraction okay intermolecular force of attraction is the weakest hmm. weakest okay weakest and uh, can you tell me what's about your uh, intermolecular space students intermolecular space is maximum in this gas okay intermolecular space is maximum or you can write greatest okay so second point i'm writing here inter molecular molecular space is greatest okay greatest in which students in gas okay and third point molecules they can move here and then free to move okay so molecules mole, uh, molecules are free to move okay free to move okay that's why you can easily find out uh, any smell or any scent okay because molecules are very loosely packed and uh, intermolecular force of attraction is weakest that's why molecules are free to move okay so these are the points about your gases okay so understood about gases okay now next we are going to properties okay properties of uh, state of matter okay so properties okay properties okay properties first we will discuss about the properties of uh, solid okay students properties of solid Anna? what are the properties of solids okay so first properties students the uh, solids have a definite shape and definite volume okay so definite shape and definite but students definite volume huh? definite space shape and definite volume okay then second point solids are usually rigid okay so solids are rigid okay rigid means tight okay uh, if i will give you example of a rigid then rock okay and wooden piece these are the rigid body okay non rigid body suppose mud 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 is non rigid body okay so these are rigid next point we can write students third point they have different texture okay so they have different texture okay different uh, different texture okay texture texture something related to whether that is smooth or rough or soft okay that's that one we will uh, get from texture okay then next point is your four point okay so uh, solids cannot be compressed or we can say nearly incompressible in compressible okay you cannot compress easily incompressible okay 
then fifth point i'm writing cannot flow solid cannot flow because molecules are tightly packed okay and the intermolecular space is negligible so that's why we can say cannot flow okay cannot flow from one place to another place okay then six number i'm writing expand very slightly if you'll provide heat then it will expand very slightly expand expand very slightly okay slightly on on heat on heating okay expand very slightly then seven point i'm writing and solid solid uh, can have many free surface okay many free surface okay free surface okay solid have many surface. so these are the some properties of your solid understood students if i will uh, give some questions about solid what are the properties so these are the properties you have to write okay now we are going to uh, discuss about the properties of liquid okay properties of uh, liquid okay students so what are the properties of liquid if i'll ask you students give some example of liquid you will say sir uh, what water kerosene petrol diesel <laughs> these are example of liquids okay so first one time writing liquid have definite volume but they don't have definite shape okay you remember students have what definite shape definite say uh, sorry definite volume but do not have definite definite shape okay but do not have definite shape definite volume is there in which liquid but they don't have definite shape or you can say whether that is square whether that is triangular sir. okay uh, you cannot say that one but you can say that volume one liter two liter okay that one is that volume okay then second point not rigid okay these are not rigid okay they're not tight okay rigid means tight how much tight that body okay so not rigid then third point we can write students about uh, what liquid as we have written here okay so uh, uh, this one next we can write uh, whether that body is compressible or not compressible okay so this liquid nearly compressible uh, so not, but not like gas okay so nearly compressible you can compress little but not that much also okay compressible compressible nearly compressible understood this one okay and this one cannot flow four point this one can flow okay can flow which can flow liquid can flow easily okay you can write easily easily liquid can flow okay and always liquid flow from top to bottom okay so this one is a four point some more points i am writing about this liquid this liquid expands on heating okay this liquid expand on heating expands on heating understood students expands on heating then six point i am writing it has only one free surface okay liquid has liquid has only one free surface how many free surface students only one free surface free surface okay free surface understood students so these are the some properties of what liquid now we are going to discuss about the properties of gases okay so now gases we are going to discuss the properties of gases so what is the first uh, uh, properties first uh, students as we know gas have neither a definite shape or not definite volume okay and the students we can say intermolecular space is large and its intermolecular force of attraction is negligible okay so here we can write gases gases have neither neither definite shape definite 
सेप नॉर डेफिनाइट वॉल्यूम डेफिनाइट वाट वॉल्यूम वाई स्टूडेंट्स वाई डेफिनेट दैट मीन्स डेफिनेट शॉप इज सेप इज नॉट देयर वाई डेफिनेट वॉल्यूम इज नॉट देयर बिकॉज स्टूडेंट्स रीजन इज दैट इंटरमोलिकुलर स्पेस इज वेरी लार्ज ओके एंड इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इज नेग्लिजिबल दैट्स वाई दे डोंट हैव वट डेफिनेट सेप और वॉल्यूम ओके बट इन लिक्विड स्टूडेंट्स दे हैव सम इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन एंड दे हैव सम स्पेस नॉट सो मच लाइक गैसेस बट इन सॉलिड स्टूडेंट्स इंटरमोलिकुलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन इज वेरी हाई एंड इंटरमोलिकुलर स्पेस इज नेग्लिजिबल ओके सो द गैसेस नाइदर डेफिनेट सेप नॉट डेफिनेट वॉल्यूम सेकेंड वन इज योर हाईली कंप्रेसिबल यू कैन हाईली कम हाईली कंप्रे यू कैन इजिली कंप्रेस ओके हाईली कंप्रेसिबल कंप्रेसिबल ओके देन स्टूडेंट्स थर्ड वन इज योर नॉट रिजिट ओके नॉट रिजिट नॉट टाइट ओके देन फोर्थ पॉइंट आई एम राइटिंग फ्लो इजिली इट कैन फ्लो यू इवन यू हैव सीन द स्मोक फ्रॉम अ मैथ स्टेक ओके दैट स्मोक इजिली कैन फ्लो ओके फ्लो इजिली देन फिफ्थ एक्सपैंड ग्रेटरली ग्रेटली ऑन हिटिंग ओके एक्सपैंड on heating what gases okay and it has no free surface because the molecules move about randomly in all direction understood student so six point i am writing no free space no free space okay of gas okay understood so these are the some properties of your gases understood and students as both gas and liquids can flow they are called fluids okay remember students liquid and gases both are known as your fluids understood and fluidity is the property of a substance that allow to flow if fluidity is not there then that substance will not flow always remember keep in your mind okay so these are the some characteristic or properties i have written now we are going to another things okay change of state okay now we are going to change of state change of state okay so if i ask you students uh, give me example of uh, any substance or matter which you have seen in all three state okay so easily you can say sir water okay so when water uh, here we are doing suppose solid then liquid and liquid and gas okay so solids ice okay ice is solid then when you will apply some heat it will convert into liquid that is your water okay and when again you will apply some heat that one will convert into vapor okay water vapor understood so these are the change of state okay so some points related to this one we will discuss okay so always remember students keep in your mind the change of state of a substance from solid to liquid okay that depends upon your heat you have to apply some heat okay so now we are going to discuss one by one term okay first we are discussing about melting okay melting what is melting students can you tell me students when solid converts into your liquid okay liquid what you will apply some heat when you will apply some heat okay so that process is known as your what melting okay so i i can write the change of state of a substance from solid to liquid okay on heating that is known as your what melting understood solid to liquid understood and the fixed temperature okay and the fixed temperature and fixed temperature at which at which solid solids convert okay or you can write changes into liquid okay solid changes into liquid is known as is known as what 
melting okay that is known as your melting understood students now we are going to so the, sorry melting point okay sorry that is melting point okay fixed temperature at uh, which okay at uh, which the solid changes into liquid is known as your melting point okay the fixed temperature that fixed temperature is known as your what melting point next one we are going to uh, discuss that is your boiling okay so next one is your boiling so boiling that means liquid converts into your gases okay so change of state of a substance from liquid to gas okay so liquid to gas okay liquid to gas understood uh, similarly i can write here liquid to gas when when you will apply some heat okay and the fixed temperature at which liquid converts into gas that fixed temperature is known as your boiling point okay boiling point okay so the fixed temperature at which you remember keep in your mind the fixed temperature a temperature okay uh, at which liquid converts into gases that fixed temperature is known as your boiling point and how much is the boiling point of water that is your 100 degrees celsius okay celsius and it varies according to your liquid now next one we are going to uh, discuss about condensation okay condensation condensation okay in condensation students okay the change of state of a substance from gas to liquid okay gas to your liquid okay liquid and this process is known as your cooling also by process of cooling which process students cooling okay so when gas changes into your liquids okay at uh, by cooling that process is known as your condensation okay so this one is your about your what condensation understood students similarly the fixed uh, point at which gas converts into your liquid the fixed point okay the fixed or you can write the fixed temperature okay the fixed temperature at which at which gas convert into your liquid that is known as your condensation point okay condensation point okay condensation point okay students so this is your condensation point understood now we are going to discuss about your freezing okay what is freezing okay so freezing this one you don't uh, okay nothing in this one okay leave it now we are going to discuss about your what freezing freezing okay so what is freezing students okay so freezing that means changes of state from uh, from a substance of liquid to your solid okay so that means the substance which is in liquid state that one will convert into your solid state okay solid okay from which state students from liquid okay liquid okay liquid to solid okay liquid to solid okay liquid to solid this one also by your cooling method students okay suppose water water to ice this one is a process of what which process students freezing process okay so when substance from water or liquid state uh, to it will convert to ice or solid state then that is known as your freezing and the temperature or you can say the fixed temperature at which water or liquid converts into your solid that is known as your freezing point okay freezing point okay freezing point so what is freezing point the fixed temperature at which liquid changes into solid okay that is known as your what students freezing point okay and that is also in which process students uh, cooling process okay by cooling process understood so i hope students you are clear about this thing okay so the cooling slow down the movement of the molecules of liquid and the intermolecular force of attraction brings the molecule close together okay and until they can 
only vibrates in their fixed position they leads to the formation of solid this is the reason at which that one converts into your solid okay understood students for example if i uh, take a, a, an, a, an example okay so ice melt at uh, a melting point of your zero degree celsius from water this temperature is also the freezing point of water at which water changes into ice and water boils at your 100 degree celsius okay to form of steam on cooling system changes into water at 100 degree celsius okay so which is also the condensation point of water understood students so these are the some common terms related to okay so if i'll ask you what is the boiling point of water that is your 100 degree celsius and condensation point that is your 100 degree celsius both are same understood students so these are the example of okay changes of state of matter so i hope students you are clear about the changes of state of matter so after that students already this chapter we have finished first chapter so i hope students you will go through the question answers and you will complete and before going to the question answer please read this chapter carefully okay and clarify your doubts if you have any doubts then you can contact me you can call me on my number you can send message to my number okay my message you can see that is display i already i have displayed on the screen okay that number you can take and if any doubt then you can call me or you can message me okay so students these are the everything about your first chapter that is your ma matter so i hope you are clear about everything and if you have any doubt then you can contact me and students uh, some question answers are there that is your checkpoint okay so i hope students you do your checkpoints to your question answer by yourself only okay if i will help you then students you will depend always depend upon me okay so that's why i'm telling you that you try okay you have the tendency to do okay so from now only you try to do okay you find out the answer all the answers are inside the book you find out the answer okay and you write in your copy okay so my, today's homework is uh, all exercise that means all question answer of your first chapter okay that is matter and if you are not getting any answer or very difficult to find out then you can ask me but not all okay students so here i am closing this video so i hope you are clear okay so bye bye students thank you for watching okay bye students